there were adjustments. I had to make his band work. Clearly, the conductor stands in the middle of the band, bisecting the group because he can best hear from this position. But this is also the optimum viewing position. Since I have no peripheral vision in my left eye, I now have to turn my head a great deal to the left to see those players. Naturally, this was frustrating at first, but I gradually adjusted. I also had to make drastic changes in the private lesson. Good afternoon, Mr. Stalin. Hi, Sam. Your mother tells me you're dying to play the trumpet. Is that right? You bet. It is. The coolest instrument. Why do you say that? Well, I'm going to be a band director. And it seems like most band directors, like you, play the trumpet. What grade are you in, Sam? Sixth grade, Mr. Solly. It's a good age to start playing the trumpet. I started playing at about your age. Would you play something for me? I'd like to, Sam, but I'm afraid I can't. Why not? I injured my eyes playing the trumpet, so can't play anything. Will I hurt my eyes? <laughs> I don't think so, Sam. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to do my best to teach you to play the trumpet well, but I'm going to have to teach you the trumpet without being able to show you certain techniques. It'll kind of be like when you learn to drive a car for the first time. The teacher sits right beside you. Tells you when to slow down, when to turn, when to stop. I'll approach these lessons in the same way. I'll tell you what to do, but you'll do all the driving, okay? Sounds good, Mr. Stalin. All right, well, put on your seatbelt. I've never taught like this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Surprisingly enough, I think my vision loss made me a better teacher. I had to rely more heavily on my communication skills. Yes, Sydney. Jack is such a strong man. He's just carried on like a trooper through all these changes in his life. I am so proud of him. But there is a distinct sadness about him. He just doesn't carry himself the same way without that trumpet at his side. Oh, he's not. I'll call you later. Hey, honey. What's for dinner? I'm starving. Oh, I, I haven't started it yet, but I was thinking about making pork chops. My favorite meal, Bob. Bob. I'm just playing. I know you've been busy with your parent meetings. I thought we'd go out. I wanted to make you feel good, though. Just see me out. Do I? I'm sorry, though. You've been a bit down these past few weeks. Is there something I can help you with? It's... It's amusing. <coughs> That's all you notice. It's my job to
sometimes feel like I become the music. I want to be the music again. I don't know if that's possible. I'm not a musician, Jack. I'm sorry. I don't fully understand. It's like I've never been sentenced to life without you. I can be in the same room as you. I can carry on small stuff with you. But I can't hold you. I can't tell you I love you. I need to relearn my relationship with you so I can come to the game. 